this lesson we're going to be going over inheritance and to get started we're going to create a class called animal and it's going to have an initializer which is just going to take the species as an argument then the self dot species is going to be equal to the species we initialize it with next we have to go ahead and create a few functions for this animal so here we're going to go ahead and type in def eat and inside here we're going to type in print a formatted string with curly brackets and we want the self dot species to be eating so is eating now we can go ahead and copy and paste this two more times so like that and like that we just have to go ahead and change this to sleep and self dot species is sleeping followed by drink self dot species is drinking so here we created the basic functionality of every animal. They need to sleep, they need to drink, and they need to eat. Now in the previous video, I went ahead and told you that sometimes you're going to have cars that have special functions because again, Ferraris don't drive the same way as Fords and Mercedes don't drive the same way as Ferraris. So we need to kind of alter the animal to fit each animal that we pick. We want cats to eat in a particular way and we want dogs to eat in a particular way. But we don't need to change everything from the animal because all the animals still sleep the same. So to demonstrate this, we're going to go ahead and create another class called cat. And this time we are going to inherit from the class of animal. And you can do that just by creating some parentheses and inserting the class you want to inherit from. Then down here, we can go ahead and create our normal init block. And inside here, we want to refer to animal and initialize the animal as well. So we will type in self and we want to specify that this is a cat. Now, because we inherited from animal, we are going to get all of these functions inside this class, plus the ones that we describe inside here. So we're going to add a special function in here that's called attack because the cat must attack. And it's just going to go ahead and print meow, meow, meow. So now when we create an object of cat, you're going to notice that we're going to have all of these functions plus the one that we specialized for cat. And just to demonstrate that, we can go ahead and create a cat object and we can go ahead and type in cat. And you're going to notice all of the functions down here. We have attack, eat, sleep, and drink. But first we're going to start with eat. And then we're going to go ahead and type in cat attack. Now when we print it to the console, you're going to notice we have the previous method, which is cat is eating, and we have the inherited one, which is meow 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 meow. And this is very important because again, if you had a Ferrari or a Mercedes, you want to be able to change these so that they can be a bit more specialized rather than all having exactly the same functionality. And right before we end this video, we also have to go ahead and discuss function overloading. Because dogs and cats don't eat the same way or they don't attack the same way, so here we can go ahead and create another class called dog, which also extends animal. And we're just going to go ahead and copy this initializer block and paste it in here and change cat to dog. We're also going to take the attack, change it to vof, vof, vof. So, so far so good. We've inherited from animal and we created a new function for the dog that also does something differently. But now let's say we want to override or we want to change the eat function for the dog by itself. Well, to do that, we just have to go ahead and recall the variable that we already created once, such as def eat. We just have to recreate it inside the class. Now we can go ahead and type in print slurp, slurp, slurp. So now when we go ahead and create a cat and when we create a dog as well, you're going to notice that when we do cat.eat, we're going to get the original eating. And when we type in dog.eat, we're going to get the function that was overloaded, the eat function. As you can see, cat is eating and dog says slurp, slurp, slurp. If we take away the overloaded function, they're both just going to be set to dog is eating. So function overloading is very important for adding some more specific code to each class you create. Because again, a dog and a cat might be very similar in that they all sleep, eat, drink, and have four legs, but they might do things slightly differently. And this blueprint over here saves us a lot of time with not having to fill out all the details 
but only having to fill out the ones that are necessary. But that just about covers inheritance, and that's actually probably all I will be covering for object-oriented programming. This should give you a really good understanding on how you can use it and how to read it, because you probably will see it being used in a lot of places, and it's just good to know how it works.